Um, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video is papakita ko sa inyo kung paano nga ba ginagawa yung title block ng ating first page ng architectural drawing. Though, same title block lang naman yung gagamitin natin, pero meron kasing nadadagdag doon sa first page ng architectural dahil nakalagay doon yung ating mga sheet number or table of contents at saka yung space para doon sa signatory ng mga building officials. Kung gusto nyo malaman ng mga ito, is tara, start tayo. Hello guys, welcome back again to my channel. And um, as you can see in your screen, is ito yung mga title block na ginawa natin last time doon sa ating drawing. So ito yung mga na, na, ito yung na-create nating isang block ng title block. Okay? So naka-block na ito. And the thing is gagawin natin yung first page ng ating architectural. Okay? So para simulan, is para hindi muna kayo malito, is to make sure na kayo ay nasa ating layout tab ng architectural. Okay? And then, magkakaman tayo, escape, escape, dt, enter. Escape, escape, dt, enter. Okay? And justification of mc, mtp. Oops. Okay. And then, okay, and then ito. MTP guys is stands for midpoint between two points. So kung gusto mo makuha kasi yung uh, point sa pagitan ng dalawang lines, is gagamit ka ng MTP to make sure na gitna gitna talaga yung magiging reference natin. Okay, the command uh, line will tell to you uh, specify height. Okay, and then lalagyan natin is 6. Then double enter and then lalagyan natin dito is uh, A1 and then double enter. Okay, and then okay, and then we will create an X line or a construction line para dito sa side nato ng title block, which is XL. Okay, and then vertical tayo, V enter. Okay, and then skip skip offset tayo. Uh, escape, escape, offset tayo ng 180. Uh, okay, and then another 80 ulit. Okay, and then enter. Okay, and then, ang gagawin lang natin dito guys is mag-create lamang tayo ng lines. Okay, so para dito. Okay. Okay, so magkikreate lamang tayo ng line dito. And then, magkikreate din tayo ng line dito. Okay, and then, ang gagawin natin guys is ititrim natin to TR double enter. Okay, and then ito, ititrim din natin to and Then, ah, magkikreate, trim din natin to guys. Trim, then double enter yan guys. Okay, then delete na natin to Okay. And then, ang magiging format natin nito guys, is mag-aari lang tayo. So, AR, enter, select objects. Okay, and then rectangular, and then column, 1, enter, and then enter ulit. And then, we'll go into the row, 15, and then negative 4 pala, since pababa yung magiging uh, array natin. Okay, and then, skip lang tayo, and then, click lang natin to guys. Okay, and then, drag lang natin to. Hanggang dulo. Okay. So, okay na yan guys. No? Ngayon, uh, this stands for our table of contents. So, ang gagawin natin noon is i-click lang natin to at i-explode lang natin siya. X enter. Okay. And then, okay. So, mag-click lang tayo dito ng, siguro kahit dalawa muna. Okay. And then, pwede na tayo ngayon dito gumawa ng, okay. So, before yun, is ayusin lang muna natin to. Palitan natin to ng 0.5. Okay. And then the rest, ang gagawin natin dito, ang magiging color, ang magiging layer na neto is 0.1. Okay. Kasi parang guideline lang naman siya guys. Okay. But to make sure na yung ating mga borders is naka 0.5 siya. And 0.5. Okay. Okay. And then, the next thing na gagawin natin guys is, lalagyan natin ito ng uh, title. Okay? So, escape, escape, DT. 
Escape Escape DT uh, Justification of Escape Escape DT Style muna tayo ng Swiss Justification MCMTP Okay, para to make sure Na makuha natin yung gitna Specify height nya guys Would be 4 Okay, 4 Or pwede ring 6 And then double enter And then lalagyan natin dito Is table of content Content. Okay, so parang medyo malaki yung 6 no? Pwede naman natin palitan to ng 4 Okay And then Ito na guys yung pinaka magiging uh, Title na uh, Ano na pala natin Pinaka magiging uh, Guidelines natin Okay So paano ba ginagawa yun So pwede dito guys Pwede tayong mag create dito na um, Mag offset muna tayo ng 50 Or I mean kay 20 lang Oops, so malaki siya. Offset lang tayo ng 10. Ayan, pwede na to guys. No? And then trim lang natin to. Trim. And then match prep lang natin tong. Ayan. Ima match prep natin siya. Okay. So, para saan ba yun? Ito kasi guys, pwede na natin tong i-delete muna. Para lang, magdi-delete tayo ng isang uh, lines kapag gagawa tayo para sa ating mga title. Okay. So, ito, pwede kasi natin tong i-delete. Okay. Tapos, uh, DT uh, Justification MC MTP ulit tayo Okay And then Text height nya would be 4 And then 0 And then lalagyan natin dito Is SHT Okay So medyo maliit pala tong na offset natin Ulitin natin to Okay So pwede tayong mag offset dito ng mga 5 Okay Would be 5 Or even 2 Pwede na siguro Okay. Delete lang natin to. Ulitin lang natin. DT. Uh, justification. MC. Enter. And then MTP. Okay. Para makuha natin yung midpoint. And then 4. And then 0. And then lalagyan na natin SHT. SHT stands for sheet. And for this one, pwede na tayong maglagay ng DT. Justification. MC. MTP. Okay. And then 4 again and then 0 And we will type architecture Double enter lang tayo Okay and then gagawin tayo na dito ng, Sasample lang ko lang kayo guys Which is uh, DTS or for the style Is Roman S And then justification of MC Enter and then MTP And then Lagay na text height would be 2 and then another sheet ole and then sheet A1 okay and then DT justification uh, middle left and then MTP okay MTP guys para makuha natin yung midpoint nitong dalawang ito and then the text height would be 2 and then the rotation angle would be 0 and then pwede na natin ilagay dito is perspective view perspective view and then double enter lang I-move lang natin to guys Move lang natin siya ng kahit siguro kahit 2 lang Pwede na Ayan And then Ikakapit na lang natin to Pero before that Is papalitan lang natin sila ng mga Layers as text Okay Same, di same, same din dito Para dun sa ating mga title Okay Palitan natin sila ng text Okay, and then, pwede na nating i-copy ito. Copy, okay. Okay, and then, pwede nating ilagay dito, perspective view, and then, site development plan. And then, vicinity map. Vicinity map. And then, syempre, yung lastly, yung ginawa natin na table of contents. Okay, so laging consistent to guys, no? Sa first page ng ating architecture tal, dapat makikita doon yung ating perspective, yung site development plan, vicinity map, at yung table of contents. Okay? So, so ganun siya ginagamit, guys. And then, pwede nyo nang i-copy ito as reference. Tapos, dito na kayo ngayon mag A2. Okay, ano ba yung mga laman ng ating A2? Okay, syempre, nandyan na yung ating ground floor plan. 
And then, copy lang din natin to. Pwede kayong, pwede kayong mag-multiple copy na ito, guys. Para edit na lang kayo ng edit. And then, after ground floor plan, is gagawin natin yung ating second floor plan. Enter. And then, syempre, nandyan din yung ating front elevation. Front side elevation. Okay. Front side Depende kasi ito guys eh. Siyempre, kung ano yung magiging sakop ng ating A1. So, remember na ito kasi is A1. So, ito yung magiging A2 natin. So, the question is, ilan nga ba yung magkakasya dito? And then, saka lang tayo dapat mag edit dito sa ating table of contents. So, itong first page ng architecture guys, is normally, ganito yung magiging process ng ating content. Table of content. Ngayon, para saan ba itong uh, space na ito? Ito guys yung magiging space para dun sa signatory. So, to do that, is gagawa lang muna tayo ng uh, dt. Uh, or I mean, kahit text lang muna, no? Text. So, t and escape, escape. Escape, escape. T. And then, gagamit tayo ng nea for the nearest. Oops, sorry pala. Skip skip T, enter. Okay, and then... The command line will tell to you yung different na mga uh, dialog box na kailangan muna natin i-edit which is style, height, and justification. Which is ang style natin is Swiss. And then the height would be uh, okay, so ito 2. Pwede na. And then uh, justification is top center. And then NEA tayo ngayon. NEA stands for the nearest. Okay. Okay, and then ilalagay natin dito, Republic. Oops. Ayan, naglag lang pala. Republic of the Philippines. Philippines. Okay. Republic of the Philippines. Office of the building. Official. Okay. And then, ito kasi guys, pwede natin itong palakihin. Kahit siguro 3. Check natin na yan. Pwede na. And then double. And enter lang tayo sa labas ulit. Okay. And then move lang natin ito guys. No kahit 2. Pwede na. Ayan. Office of the building official. And then after that. Is mag-aari tayo guys. No? So. Aari. So palit na lang muna natin ito ng layer as 0.5. Okay. And then. Escape escape tayo. AR. Enter. Enter. Then rectangular would be. Column 1, enter, and then enter ulit. Row. Tayo. And then, the number of rows would be 10. Okay? And then, gagamit tayo ngayon ng total. Okay? From this point up to this point. Okay. And then, imove lang natin to. Move. Oops. Sumabot na tayo. Move lang tayo. Okay, and then explode lang natin siya. And then delete lang natin yung sumobrang lines. Okay. And then Okay, and then escape escape, keep escape DT uh, justification top center. Okay, and then we will select this one. And uh, text specify height would be 2. And then rotation angle would be 0. Lalagyan natin dito is munisi palit uh, slash city uh, slash and then province. Province. Okay. And then double enter. And then move lang natin to kahit na 2. Pwede na. Okay. And then the next thing na gagawin natin is ilalagyan na natin yung different sections na building officials. Okay. So to that also uh, the to do that is escape escape dt justification uh, bottom left okay and then specify bottom left of the point of the text would be here and then height would be 4 and then relation angle would be 0 okay at ang ilalagay natin dito is line and grade or pwede na siguro gumamit tayo nito Okay, line and grade, double enter. Move lang natin to ng 2. Okay, and then ikakapi na lang natin sila. CO. Okay, and then we will select this uh, reference point. 
Okay, para mamaya babaguhin na lang natin sila. So, dapat pala yung gitna na lang ginawa kong reference point. Para mabilis. Okay, so ano ba, ano, ano nga ba yung uh, mga building sections? Okay, the next one would be zoning. Okay, and then architectural. Structural. Okay, and then electrical. Electrical and then plumbing and then fire. Oops, bakit pira? Okay, so ito ay fire. Then enter. Okay. So delete lang natin to guys. Okay. So, yun guys, tapos na tayo. Nakaready na yung ating first page. <clears throat> yung ating first page, yung ating table of content. And then, the sections for the building officials. By the way guys, ito is magiging vary ito. Depende kasi ito doon sa pagagawa nyo. So, sa case ko kasi is, um, kagaya nung pinakita ko sa inyo sa aking vlog. Sa tag City Hall kasi tayo magkapasyek ng ating drawing. So, basically, dapat malagyan natin to ng Tagig City. Tagig City. So, skip you skip. DT, Justification. Okay, and then bottom center tayo. Okay, and then the height would be for rotation ng glue D0. Alagay natin dito is Tagig City. And then double enter. Okay. So, so pag pinasa natin ito, ma-recognize na itong, itong plano na ito is isinabmit sa Tagig City Hall. Okay, or sa Tagig City. Okay, so delete lang natin yung mga extra lines natin. And then, Basically guys, okay na yung ating first page. And then, magkakaroon na tayo ngayon ng sections for about perspective view, site development plan, and vicinity map. Okay. So, so dahil tapos na tayo doon sa ating table of contents, para doon sa ating first page, is magsisimula na tayo ngayon sa paggawa ng ating site development plan. Abangan nyo ito guys doon sa aking next video. Music